everybody, what's going on? Hope all is well with you. Listen, this is the King Jive Show. I'm Demario. Wanted to bring to you today a little bit of Bible lore, a little bit of conversation. You know, a lot of times we deal with a lot of oppression from outside and even sometimes some things on the inside from different frenemies, people who used to hang around and they're not there no more, people that you thought that was close or whatever the case may be. But I am reminded that the word of God says no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment shall be condemned. What I do love about that is we serve a just and a mighty God. Now, listen, um, I know that you guys have been here for a while. Thank you for your love and your support. Make sure you keep supporting, become a partner or whatever. You know, you can donate via Cash App, PayPal, um, Facebook. They got so many ways to do it. It is greatly appreciated. And thank you for that. Um, also, the merch, the merch link will be available very soon. If it's not in the description, it will be somewhere. <laughs> you know, I know a lot of you all uh, have been really, really asking about it. And we're going to have that available to you very, 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 very soon. I'm taking myself out of it. And we have put together a site that you can go and get your t-shirts, your sweatshirts, and we're even working on sweat outfits, you know, whatever. But anyways, let's jump right on into this, okay? So, Isaiah 54, and I'm going to start at verse 8. I love this because it just makes so much sense. A lot of us are going through things, and a lot of times it's really not our fault. Uh, we're going through things and we're being uh, attacked on every side. And truly, it's not our fault. But you have to remember and keep rehearsing this thing in your ear. No weapon formed against me, make it personal, shall be able to prosper. All right, so that's so. So we have to make sure we understand, understand the scriptures very, 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 very precisely. So let's start at verse 8. In a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, said the Lord thy Redeemer. For this is for this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wroth with thee, nor rebuke thee. Verse 10. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, said the Lord that hath mercy on thee. O thou afflicted! Toss with tempest and not confronted, comforted. Behold, I will lay, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundation with sapphires, and I will make thy widow windows of gates, and thy gates of carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stone, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and the great shall be the peace of thy children. Fourteen says, In righteousness shalt thou be established, thou shalt be from thou shalt be far from oppression, for thy righteousness. For thou shalt not fear for the terror, for it shall not come nigh thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together. This is getting good, y'all. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee, they shall fall from thy, for thy sake. Behold, behold is that word. Listen up now. Bible said, listen up. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy Good verse right here, last verse. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment shall thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me. Said the Lord. Let's read this one more time. And I want you to read it with me, okay? Make sure you share this video. Read it with me, Isaiah 54 and 17. Let's get ready. You ready? 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 Okay, let's read. The Bible says in Isaiah 54 and 17. You ready? Let's go. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Here's the reason word. Listen, this, this is what I want y'all to understand. It's not just about what you read. It's about what you believe. See, it's one thing to read it. It's another thing when it gets on the inside. 
And see, when opposition comes up against you, it's not something, it's, it's one thing to grab your Bible and say, what does scripture say? What does scripture say? Now the, now, 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 now the Bible says over here, no weapon. No. The Bible says, thy word have I hid in my heart. Make it a light into my feet. Light into my pathway. Hide it in my heart. I ain't quote that cry right, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Hide it in my heart that I may not sin against you. What do you mean by hide it in my heart and make it a lamp unto my feet? Lead me and guide me in the way that I should go. Let it be in my heart so that when trouble comes up against me, that it's regurgitated and it's something just, I just rehearse it automatically and I just say what I need to say. Why? Because the Bible says no weapon. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the standard is it comes up and I see oppression. But no weapon that's formed against me shall be able to prosper. And the Bible says every tongue, every hating tongue, lying tongue, oppressing tongue that come up against me shall be condemned. Now, that's Isaiah 54 and 17. I got another one for you. You also have to be aware of Satan's devices. What do, you, what do you mean, Jobs, with an S? I need y'all to understand, my last name ends with an S. All right, okay. The Bible says, be not ignorant of Satan's devices. All right, the Satan's devices is pride, envy, lust of forbidden pleasures, itching ears, the four Ds, y'all, disappointment, discouragement, doubt, division. So let me help you out. Pride is one of Satan's strongest weapons against us. It's always dangerous, especially when things are going well, such as times of peace and prosperity. You can find that in Deuteronomy 8, uh, 11 and 17. There's a bunch of scriptures that talk about Satan's devices, but you have to be very careful because even in just this list right here, you have to be careful Like when things are going well, and it seems like you got friends and good people and everybody's vouching for you and everybody's fighting for you and swinging and all this other stuff like that. Be not content. Always let your discernment stay up. Let your spirit man always stay in control because if not, Satan is very cunning and he will sometimes, if not all the time, use your good time to destroy you. He'll use your good time to destroy you. And what you've got to be understanding about is that Satan knows how to get you. Satan knows how to get you. He does. He knows how to get you. Well, John, what you talking about? He knows. Oh, if I got friends, everything's good. I'm laid back. I'm relaxed. I'm telling you this and I'm telling you that. And girl, you know, and girl, you know, no. Be not ignorant of Satan's devices. Be not dismayed. Be not content. Always know Satan is trying to have a one up on you. The enemy in somebody else, a demonic spirit in somebody else is always looking to have one up on you, one, two, three, four, five, sum up on you. And what you gotta learn is never let the enemy see or know your weakness. Perfect example, Samson and Delilah. Never let the enemy know what your weakness is. Never let the enemy know. Mm -hmm. Or the devil, he'll use anything and anybody. Never let the enemy know what your weakness is because he'll use that against you. Or even if you allude to something, he'll use that against you. So you've got to be always on your post, always on guard. And the Bible says that man should always pray. Always pray and not faint. Every day you wake up, God, I thank you. Even if you just land in the bed, Father, I thank you. I give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory, just as Jesus, Yeshua, did. Father, when he got up in the morning, he said, Father, I thank you. 
And when he was at the point of getting ready to take his last breath, he said, Father, forgive those for they don't know what they do. See, sometimes you got to have the attributes of Yeshua. You got to have the attributes of Jesus. You got to have those attributes. Even though people do wrong to you, Father, forgive them. They don't even know what they're doing. They don't even know. Because, God, there is a blessing. And even when the enemy tries to come up against you, because if you're not careful, you have to understand, this just may be the plan of God. But we're not going to go there because that's a different subject right there. But be not ignorant of Satan's devices. Be not ignorant of Satan's devices. Envy. People may envy you. And he may even use you to be envious of somebody else. Satan will try to use these things against you to keep you tearing down, to keep you barren, to keep you depressed, to keep you locked down. The enemy will try to use these very same things against you. Another powerful device of Satan is envy, especially the kind of envy that distorts selfish sense of fairness this goes all the way back to Cain and Abel. Envy, envious of somebody else. Lust of forbidden pleasures. Another tool of Satan is the lust of forbidden pleasures. We know that because of Satan's influence, people don't like to be told what to do. The forbidden pleasures grab people's attention and focus. Satan makes them seem somewhat more enticing and pleasurable then the true pleasures of God wants to be had. All right, itching ears. Paul warned us about the device, this device of Satan. Itching ears, for the time will come that they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears. They will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to fables. That's in 2 Timothy 4, 3 through 4. So anyways, you all, remember this. Remember Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall be able to prosper. Remember that scripture, no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that rises up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. The Bible also says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Listen, thank you all for being on here. Thank you all for sharing this video. Thank you all for showing so much love and support. Um, you know, you can always become a member of the channel. You can always become a member and do a monthly support, a monthly partnership, a monthly, you know, donation or whatever. Thank you. And also the merch is coming. Thank you so much for being a part. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon. One love. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. It's my prayer that whatever it is that you are trying to get off the ground, God will give you the funding for. I really thought you would shout better than that. The only people who are shouting right now are those who got a big idea but don't have a big budget. But in spite of not having big budget, here's your shout, you got big faith. You have to dream the size of your faith and not think about the number of your limitations.